Hi, Sadim. Welcome to Beastalk. It's my great pleasure having you. How are you today? Thank you very much for having me. I'm good. How are you? Oh, good. Thanks for coming. So let's start introducing yourself and after we, you can go through your page talking about Druto Loan. I'm Abdul Ghaffar Sadi. I'm from Bangladesh. I'm 27 years old and uh, I am a finance graduate from uh, a reputed university in Bangladesh. I have been working with uh, my startup Druto Loan for three years now. So belonging to a typical middle-class Bangladeshi family, we have always faced the uh, scarcity of instant cash at the time of an emergency or a sudden business opportunity. One night, I still remember, my father was very ill and needed to be hospitalized immediately. But we didn't have enough money at home at that moment to take him to the hospital. It was very easy for my family to uh, arrange the money the very next morning, but at that time, it was a nightmare. So later on, I have realized that this is not a problem that I'm facing alone. Millions of individuals in my country, as well as businesses, are facing the exact same problem, um, that is the scarcity of instant cash at the time of an emergency or a sudden business opportunity. Here comes Drutalun. So the problem that we're trying to solve has three parts. First of all, instant loan disbursement is critically important for the borrowers at the time of an emergency. Secondly, 89.1% population of the total country is, are Muslims. And though it is not their first priority, but they prefer interest-free loans. And the last and the most important is the rigidity in the typical lending as well as saving and uh, repayment process creates complexity and unavailability to the general mass. Maybe this is the reason why Bangladesh has one of the highest unbanked population in the world. We have a very simple solution, which also has three parts. First of all, we provide instant nano loan on through our mobile application so that our customers can and uh, have instant loan from wherever they want and whenever they want. Secondly, we provide interest-free halal financial solutions. And thirdly, our repayment process, our lending process, and our saving process is so flexible that at, uh, uh, any uh, people from any background can uh, be a part of our financial system. And, that, uh, and in this way, we are uh, bringing the uh, general mass under the digital financial umbrella. We have very simple and clear vision. We want to make interest-free and instant loan available at the fingertips of the individuals and entrepreneurs by using in, uh, technology. We have different types of healthy financial products such as grocery loan, maternity loan, enterprise loan, medical loan, and many more other uh, products are also coming in the next few months. This is our app, uh, mobile application. We made our mobile application very uh, uh, user-friendly and uh, simple so that at our customers from any background can easily understand and use our uh, app and through it they can and have uh, instant financial solutions. Now, let me tell you why this is the right time to invest in the digital lending market of Bangladesh. If you look at uh, uh, India, uh, wh whose market is very relatable to our market sentiments and consumer behaviors, uh, India estimate to grow in digital lending market at to uh, $350 billion in the next two years. And their market share will rise to 48% within the uh, year uh, 2023. So we can uh, also uh, understand from there that uh, Bangladesh, uh, the digital lending market of Bangladesh will also grow uh, uh, more or less in the same uh, manner. And also, uh, I would like to add that more than 100 million people in Bangladesh actively rely on mobile financial services such as Bcash, Nogod, Upe, and other uh, uh, financial services 
for their daily financial solutions, which has created an immense opportunity for the digital lending market to grow. As I've mentioned before, that Bangladesh has one of the highest unbanked population in the world. 114 million people in this country are unserved by banks or any other financial institutions. And the rest, uh, and most of the rest are underserved. There are 8.1 million SMEs in Bangladesh. And uh, just in Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh has 1.2 million SMEs. There are much more businesses such as nano, micro, and cottage industries is who constantly require what we are offering on a daily basis. The total market size is $170 billion, which is, grow, which is in, uh, estimated to grow by 7%. And in the next uh, few years, and just in Dhaka only, the total uh, serviceable market is 33.32 billion, from which we uh, aim to obtain only 0.01% by the end of 2023. Uh, this is a very new concept to Bangladesh. Uh, in 2019, we started the first digital nano loan providing company in Bangladesh. Uh, but recent in, uh, recently, in the last year, Bcash, along with Citibank and Prime Bank, uh, ran their pilot project, but uh, it was not very popular uh, because uh, though they provided uh, instant loan and uh, their loan were data driven, but uh, to be honest, they couldn't come out of the traditional banking process. And uh, thus, it made our target market yet uh, again unavailable to their services. And then there is microfinance institutions, but they are, uh, though they has reached in different uh, parts of Bangladesh more than the banks, but uh, they are not digitalized. So we have uh, much more uh, competitive advantages over them. And the Sharia based banks uh, provide inter interest free loans, but they do not provide, provide nano loan. And they are even more complex than the traditional uh, banking process. So we can tell uh, that we can say that uh, Drutoran is the only instant interest fee, uh, fee flexible and data driven and uh, digital nano loan providing company in Bangladesh right now. Saying all that, I would also like to add that uh, the market is enormous. So even 10 companies just like us won't be able to make the room crowded. Uh, our revenue model is very simple. We, uh, in case of personal Drutal loan, we uh, take a subscri small subscription fee uh, for our office expense and, on and uh, different other uh, expenses and in case of uh, enterprise drutalon we follow markup model in case uh, so drutalon buys products for the smes and uh, then again sell them to uh, making up a little bit of profit uh, which the sme repays in installments this is our founding team we are working with this project for three years now uh, this is our traction uh, from 2019 and uh, to 2020, uh, 2021, we have uh, uh, increased our signups by four times. You can see that the number of loans uh, has increased by eight times from 2019 to 2021. And the uh, saving had also increased by eight times. And uh, the number of loan disbursed has uh, increased by 14 times. Uh, and in this last three years, our defaulter rate was constantly zero. Uh, as we have we were as we have bootstrap these three years, so our number revenue number is a little low, but if you see at the graph, you would see that the growth is very promising. Uh, in the last few, three years, our revenue more uh, has uh, grown to 16 times. Uh, but uh, as I have mentioned before that we didn't have enough capital to lend. That's why uh, we couldn't, you know, uh, 
provide much loan that's why the return as is little lower but the growth is growth is very promising this is our uh, three years of operation is uh, at a glance as you can see we have provided had more than 70000 in loan uh, disbursed uh, but uh, our default rate was zero and uh, we have helped more than in uh, 1000 individuals and businesses uh, next this is what we acquire from our investor we require 500000 uh, dollars from our investor in return of 15% equity uh, with which we uh, believe we can give 120,000 customers within the next two years and uh, uh, who will deposit a $10 million in our uh, Drutulon saving account. And we aim to uh, uh, we aim to earn uh, more than half a million dollars in the next two years. Uh, this is the fund allocation that is the 60% of the total uh, investment will be used as liquid capital to lend and 30% will be used for tech development and the rest will be used for uh, marketing and other operating expenses as well as legal support. Thank you very much. Uh, please join us in making Druto Loans the people's financial companion and uh, uh, contact. feel free to contact us for any feedback or any queries. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sadi. Let me start with the accounts. You have the saving account. Uh, why are you having the saving account? Okay, so uh, to sign up for a Drutulun account, you need to first apply for a saving account. When you have a saving account, you can lend and anytime uh, from anywhere. Now, why we're doing this? Because uh, we want to provide instant loan. So the processing time need to be very is short. And we cannot do that, this until we have a constant financial relationship with him. We uh, score him on a basis of a financial discipline. And one of the parameter is the saving amount. That is, he has to regularly save in that account a fixed amount so that we can understand uh, his financial discipline. But where the account is open? Okay, so right now uh, the account is opened by our salesperson and as well as if someone contact us, we provide them the link. The uh, account is opened online and as well as they are, are at our offices. Uh, but uh, uh, if you are asking that where this saving amount is, go, amount with goes custodian, to... With the custodian, are you already, do you have already the financial uh, requirements as a banking to having to holding accounts for your clients or you open the accounts on third parties as a, as a custodian no uh we have the authority to uh, uh, acquire uh, accounts for our uh, our uh, customers but not as a bank but as a cooperative Zutulun is currently uh, limited as a cooperative and we have a particular operation area we can uh, only uh, operate there, but uh, we can also apply for uh, apply to expand our territory uh, to the cooperatives. Uh, as uh, we don't didn't have enough funding uh, and enough uh, paid up capital, we couldn't uh, uh, take the license from Bangladesh Bank, the Central uh, uh, Bank of Bangladesh. But uh, that's why we took the license from Bangladesh cooperatives another uh, organization who uh, government organization who operates uh, uh, who uh, re who is the regulatory body for the microfinancing uh, companies in bangladesh so we have uh, if someone is uh, signing up in our uh, our uh, uh, drutulon platform then we have the right to you know uh, take savings from him as well as we have the right to uh, give him loan well you are using the saving account to understand the financial status and requirements from this person, right? But if I'm opening a saving account to own your corporation, because you are still not a bank, you are not a license as a bank, and I'm having, I don't know, $2,000 in savings account, 
how much I can ask you? Uh, why should I ask you the money unless what I'm asking you it's above my saving? Yeah. So what we will uh, you say it uh, the loan that you can ask from us is uh, not dependent on the amount of savings is the frequency how frequently you are saving uh, so that's why you can uh, suppose uh, you are you have your saving 1000 Bangladeshi taka in my saving account but you can take one lakh taka loan it doesn't matter but you need to have a saving account and there's a fixed uh, uh, you should uh, daily amount or weekly amount or monthly amount that you have to save so that's uh, that is a must you need to save properly to get the loan but that's a deposit right you are using the deposit as a collateral to make sure yeah. they can pay you back yeah we are we are trying to build a constant financial relationship with the customer so that it, it is not like that uh, whenever he needs a loan he comes to me he need he can comes to me for grocery loan he whenever she uh, her, uh, his uh, wife is pregnant and uh, need to take a hospital he can come to me uh, when he needs an educational loan he can come to me whenever the, he wants to save money he can come to me so that i can have a constant relationship with them so that the processing time is short i can know about the customers i have the data from different sources and that's why the processing uh, i want to you know minimize the processing time in, uh, by having a constant financial relationship when you talk about saving account means the money has to remain there or can take the money out uh, who uh, customers can withdraw the money whenever they want we and we won't charge him anything uh, but if he doesn't uh, withdraw for our year then we give, give him annual dividend we give him a profit of the company which means you you, you want you, you are using a savings account to understand the behavior of clients that's it Your yeah we are using account. the saving account yes we yeah. are only save, using the saving uh, account money to lend uh, to our customers. We are not using it for any other reason, not for salary or any other thing, only to uh, uh, lending the customers. And you understand the affordability of your customer based on the saving account as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, let's talk a bit about your revenue stream. I didn't know that Muslims can pay interest. That's, that, that's new to me. Uh, and I, learn something new today but you uh, can you go back a bit more in details about the how the models work between individuals and and to enterprises okay so uh first of all we have uh, two revenue models person uh, one for personal loan and another for business loan so in case of personal loan if you uh, uh you if you are Taking a loan from uh, Druto Loan, uh, what you have to do is you have to uh, provide a processing fee or a subscription fee that is only used for our salaries and office expense and other things. And uh, you don't have to pay any interest. That's the first. Let's say you are taking uh, 10,000 Bangladeshi Taka uh, for loan, you have to pay 640 Taka pro uh, processing fee or subscription fee. and uh there is no other charge and that's why it's not interest and in the second case it is called markup model uh i'm buy so let's say and a retailer wants to buy some uh, buy some rice right so the rice is 100 taka let's say so what we are doing is cost price is 100 taka so we are buying the rice at 100 taka and selling the shopkeeper at 110 and he's selling that to the customers at uh, let's say 120 or 130. Now this 110 taka that I owe from him, uh, he will repay me in installment of let's say 11 months. So one taka, uh, 11 taka, uh, uh, 10 taka per month uh, in 11 installments. So this is our how our revenue model works. So you don't lend more. You buy for them. You sell you don't even sell to them you buy for them they sell to the customers and the spread is given back to you in installments installments exactly and and uh, uh i would like also like to add that uh, we do not 
buy products for them physically. We give him the money, the purchase receipt that uh, with which he is buying the product is in Drutalon's name. Now Drutalon then give him a sales receipt in this way. So the process is easier because if I want, I if Drutalon goes to buy a product for him, then uh, it is a little bit complex. He buys the product for himself, but the receipt, the purchase receipt, it is in Drutalon's name so that Drutalon is the owner. And then Drutalon again sells that uh, with a sales receipt to him uh, at 110. This way, Drutalon is not making an interest, but only selling the product. So, How do you work with compliance? Uh, in case of compliance, we take uh, his uh, trading, uh, uh, his trade license and other KYC and everything else, which requires him to identify. Uh, mostly, we uh, want, what we want from our customer is the last six month utility bills. In that way, we uh, get the address proof and all, as well as as that he is staying for, uh, in that uh, uh, he is a permanent resident of that particular area. So uh, we have a scoring system. First, it uh, first of all we we score on the financial discipline. Secondly, we see the business performance and third is the compliance. So in case of compliance, we see, does he have the TIN certificate? Does he have the VAT certificate? Does he has the uh, business? If he's doing a business, does he have the business uh, 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 business license uh, and also the trade license required? And if he's doing a job, his job, his uh, appointment letters and, and last six months salary, and we see these things and uh, and in case of business performance that's only for the enterprise loan due to enterprise loan uh, we see that you know uh, these people uh, what who we are uh, providing in our target market uh, do not have financial statements right so they do not have income statement or any other financial statements but what uh, they have is much more uh, uh, important in case of providing loan to them uh, for example, uh, they are part of a big supply chain. Uh, let's say it can be Unilever. They're buying uh, different products from Unilever. They're buying different products from BAT, MGH, and many other uh, big supply chain. Uh, they're part of many big supply chains. So we take those purchase receipts from them and understand how much trading they are doing. And on that basis, we provide them uh, the loan uh, 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 two days uh, three days back i went to a meeting at uh, uh, with the regulators of bangladesh bank and there were other banks also and we together uh, are uh, talking to the regulators about uh, creating a cloud so that all the data are shared by everyone and anyone can uh, any uh, one who is authorized to get the data can you know, uh, uh, use that data. But until then, we what we are doing right now uh, is that we are uh, basing on the alternative credit scoring system. We are providing the loan. I mean, you talk about quick loans. How quick they are? So uh, our eligible customer can get a loan within a minute from the requirement. When they when they require with the request that they loan to you, in a minute, fingerprint. In a minute, they can get the loan, because we know a lot of things. If they are eligible, if they are not eligible, that's a different case. But if they are eligible, then they will uh, the loan will be disbursed even within a minute. Sometimes it take two to three minutes, but uh, most of the loans has we have disbursed in the last few years with was within a minute. Uh, and that's why we have a huge demand in here. But as I've mentioned before, that it was uh, the short of shortage of capital. Uh, that is why we couldn't, uh, you know, uh, go into a bigger scale. What's the size of your loans? Uh, okay, so our loan size is for personal loan. Uh, it is up to ten thousand uh, taka, ten thousand Bangladeshi taka. And uh, there are there is pregnancy loan, which is up to twenty thousand. There is mutual term loan at thirty five thousand, 
Uh, right now, enterprise loan, in case of business loan that we're providing, it's up to one lakh taka, one lakh Bangladeshi taka, but we aim to raise it to uh, 300,000 uh, Bangladeshi taka when we will have enough money to lend. I mean, how do you, how do you, um, how do you, I mean, how your uh, balance sheet is structured? I mean, uh, you are not a bank, but you're acting like a bank. So uh, in your balance sheet, your loans are coming from a saved loan account, which is only be used to disburse and get the money back or from uh, your uh, working account, which means your working capital. Uh, we uh, this uh, the the structure of our company is called the cooperatives, right? So in cooperatives, uh, the balance sheet is like that, and the uh, uh, amount saved by the uh, members of that cooperative can be used in uh, two things. One, when someone needs and uh, someone needs the uh, money to uh, do something, in, uh, when someone wants to borrow then we can use that saving account, uh, saving saved amount to uh, lend him uh, the capital. And another is to start a project. So we, are, we didn't start any project. We only focused on uh, providing loans to our borrowers. And in case of working capital, yes, uh, there were, uh, as we are also the member of this cooperative, I'm the uh, executive member, there is president, uh, vice president. So uh, there's an executive committee and uh, this committee also uh, uh, can invest in this business and uh, there are shares and everything so in this way you know working capital is also used uh, but working capital is, is are mostly used for uh, providing salary or office expense or if there is a deficit uh, in the loan or uh, you know there is a, a deficit in the budget uh, yearly budget we provided uh, some investment there but other than that, the whole uh, balance sheet is uh, very simple. Uh, say from uh, uh, capital is coming from saving account and going to the lending account and then coming back uh, to the repayment account and going back to the saving account. It's very simple. So, which means your capital to give to give the money to give the loans comes. The capital comes from the saving accounts. And the saving accounts yes. are what you yeah. call members. This is why they pay the membership. The membership is your way to make money. Yeah. Okay. How much you're raising? Say again. 500,000. And where do you want to go with this? I, I saw your, uh, I remember, uh, I, we already, you've been already pitching how you're going to use this money. But where do you see your company? Where Where do you want to go? Well, uh, as I have told you before, and the total market says $170 billion right now, only the digital lending market. And uh, with this $500,000, uh, we cannot go very far. But what we can do is within this money in the next two years is we can attain more than 100,000 uh, customers. And uh, we can... Uh, serve more than uh, 120,000 customers and we can and uh, these customers will save more than uh, 10 million dollars in our saving account will which will be also be used for uh, you know providing loan to them and we can uh, also you know uh, earn more than half a million dollar in the next two uh, years if we get this money that's what we believe and uh, uh, right now we are operating in a particular area. If we get the money, we will be able to apply for the whole Dhaka city. And we won't, we don't want to go for whole Bangladesh right now because we won't be able to serve them. But we can, we have the ability and the team and everything to serve the whole uh, whole capital, and that we aim to do with this money. And uh, for take the and. Uh, this money will most, as I mentioned before, the sixty percent of this money will be used for take yeah, for capital to lend. Thirty percent will be used for take development, and ten percent will be used for the rest: uh, legal support, marketing expenses, overhead expenses, and others. What's your vision? 
sorry so uh, what i want to do is uh, you know uh, make in instant and interest free loan available at the fingertips of individuals and businesses so uh, eight, there are 8 million smes in bangladesh and many more nano businesses and the, the main problem that they face as a middle class uh, as i have mentioned before i belong to a middle class family i understand that the main problem is the scarcity of instant cash at the time of an emergency and i want to you know solve that problem i want to make you know uh, people's life uh, easier than that is uh, when there when there is there is a medical issue when there is a uh, when their uh, father is facing a problem him, you know uh, providing tuition fee for his children uh, he can take this money and repay us whenever he gets the salary and you know the businesses uh, the smes and the nano businesses the uh, they face really hard time because of the capital bank doesn't give them loan because as they do not have enough documents the flexibility the rigidity in the banking process has kept these people unbanked for the last 100 years in my country and i want to solve that problem i want them to bring under the digital financial umbrella to the new world of financial system where you know they can uh, rely on each other and the technology let me close with do you have any message to investors why they should invest in sadi and druto loan as i have mentioned before that bangladesh is a huge possible promising possibility in growing fintech and the market is huge Drutalon has 14 members in his team and we are working for the last three years even during the pandemic we didn't give up we had limitations 10 times more than the resources required and we had so many challenges but we still fought and uh, we don't want to make a lot of money to be honest what we want to do is make people's life better and i believe that if uh, you want to help us in making people's life better and then you should help uh, drutalon you should invest in drutalon and uh, in the process uh, if you uh, look into our tractions and everything then you will see that uh, how much money we all can make out of this uh, you know noble deed sadin thank you very much to coming for coming to this talk it's been a very good yeah, thank, thank you, you very much for giving me this opportunity take care bye bye